There is a little bit of concern at this point. Last year, over 300 Fulton County residents were summoned for jury duty, many excused, and now the pool is dwindling. It's down to just over 50. Sierra Joggins went missing back in July of 2016. Since then, stories, rumors, and reports have filled social media feeds, newspapers, and TV newscasts. Besides that information, many in this small community knew Sierra and her family, and that has forced attorneys to be very selective in who they seat on this jury. Sir, if you were sitting two seats over from me, and you were the criminally accused in this type of case here, hmm. facing the possibility of capital punishment, would you want someone whose friend's girlfriend was, was, was the victim's best friend? Attorneys want to seat a fair and impartial jury and need to make sure jurors will not use information they heard in the past to consider Worley's guilt or innocence. I heard MNR Ready Mix took concrete to his house to bury evidence. Mm -hmm. You heard that? I mean, yeah, that's the okay. rumor I heard, yeah. We're seeking the truth, sir. We just want fair and impartial jurors. There's yep. no right or wrong answer. And before jurors were questioned today, James Worley asked to address the judge. I need to be here, conscious away on the ball, and myself, not like this. Worley explained long days at the courthouse are getting him back to CCNO very late, and staff is waking him up at 3 in the morning to take his medication. Worley says he is concerned he will not be sharp at his trial every day. The judge did reassure James Worley that he will contact the facility and coordinate with them so that his medication can possibly be brought to the courthouse every day so that he can get the right amount of sleep at night. Reporting from the Fulton County Courthouse, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.